Hi folks, I am Kingshuk. I am the product lead for Engati and today I am going to give a brief walkthrough of the product and before I do that I want to briefly introduce about what Engati is. It is a chatbot platform which helps you to build your chatbots and deploy them across multiple messaging platforms and then once you have done that you basically get to manage the chatbot and uh, analyze the results and engagement of the chatbot as well as keep on training it to make it better. So in the walkthrough I am going to touch on these various aspects of the platform. So uh, let me just jump right in and show you how it all is done in Engati. So I've created a fresh account and uh, there is nothing in here right now. So I'll just create a bot and uh, this is a very simple step uh, you just have to give it a name so today we are planning to build a bot for Engati itself so we get a lot of queries around what is Engati what it can do and things like that so we will build a bot around that and while doing that we'll explore the various features so i filled out the name of the bot and it will be used in various places and let me just fill out the website URL for that as well. So here along with that we have some pre-canned welcome message and greeting message uh, which will sort of uh, be the default uh, onboarding experience or whenever we use chatbot user is uh, trying to say uh, hi or hello or any kind of greeting. So very simple steps, nothing much here. I'll just go ahead and create it. Then basically you come to the channel section. So this is one of our major uh, differentiators and capabilities of the platform that we cover a very wide breadth of the messaging platforms which we support, right? So uh, you can see here we have messenger support, we have Slack, uh, we have a website chatbot widget. So just by copy pasting a couple of lines, uh, which are pre-generated here you just paste it on your website and you get a working chatbot like in a matter of minutes and also along with that we have other platforms like skype kick viber telegram and line and uh, you just build out the chatbot once and then you deploy it on the various messaging platforms depending on what your use cases are or where your target audience is so today we'll just uh, try the Facebook Messenger platform. So it just asks to log in to Facebook. So I have my account linked here. So it lifts down all the pages uh, which I have on my Facebook account. So I'll select the Facebook page which I've just created for the purpose for this demo. And uh, let me just connect it once I have selected. So just a one click process, you just select the page and connect. Uh, in the background right now, it's connecting to the Facebook page and linking it to our servers and yeah, it's all done now and the page is linked. Now that we have created and linked the bot to the Facebook page, uh, we will now explore the build section where basically we add more functionality and more features to the newly created chatbot we just uh, linked. So in the build section, I mean, uh, we have two major components to it, the FAQ and the paths module. So FAQ is more like one-to-one -one, uh, question and response model, which is based on a lot of uh, language processing and matching algorithms which we have behind the scenes running and the second component is parts uh, which basically is used to create more interactive and engaging experiences so i'll take some use cases around uh, how we would go uh, building it out and uh, then i'll show you some examples for that so uh, i'll take up the faq first so uh, this is the FAQ module right now it uh, it is just empty and it doesn't have an FAQ so you have an add FAQ button here so you click on that uh, so you can categorize your FAQs and you can add the questions so 
uh, since we were building it for the Engati product itself. So let me just add uh, some related questions to it. Like uh, I'll just add, do you support Telegram? And you can also add uh, variations to the questions here. So I'll just add, uh, let's say, Telegram support uh, or Telegram chatbot and response i can put an answer yes engati platform supports telegram and you just click add and uh, behind the scenes it trains the chatbot and you can uh, the chatbot will respond uh, with the answer which is fed and all the training happens real time so there is no downtime required and you can just load up faqs so this was one way of how uh, you would load up FAQs. We also have upload and download features here. Uh, so if you have a CSV file uh, which has FAQs, you can directly load that up in one shot and we will process it and train the chatbot in the same way like uh, what we just did. So uh, you can also download a sample format to uh, understand how we uh, have uh, segregated the questions and their variations and the response so I'll show you a sample file here so it's it is very simple uh, we have the category as the first column it's actually optional so you can just skip it then we have a uh, response which will be what the chatbot will be responding as and then the main query and you can have multiple uh, query variations around that so I've added some pre-canned questions and their responses here like who are you, who am I talking to or and uh, what is Ngati and do you support messenger chatbots and Facebook support and I have fed in all the answers here. So I'll just quickly try to load this in the platform. And let me just yeah here it is so i just uploaded and it uploaded successfully then right now it will train the bot and you can see instantly all these questions are uh, fed into the chatbot and uh, so now we have uh, some basic faqs ready so let's get ahead and uh, start interacting with it so this is messenger i can just search for the uh, Facebook chatbot which I just created which is Ngati demo I linked it to this particular page uh, it automatically creates a get started button for you and it will respond uh, from the message what we had set earlier from the settings so as you can see you can uh, personalize the uh, welcome messages and greeting messages uh, and so you can just uh, select the first name or the last name or other parameters which you can extract during the conversation so i'll go into more details of that a bit later when we discuss the paths workflow so let's just ask it some questions like who are you Yeah, so you see the response here and uh, it also shows the closest matching query and an associated confidence score. Uh, and uh, if you can see along with the question and response, it also asks uh, whether uh, the response was really helpful to you or not. So these are all settings which are configurable from the platform. So if I go back here and go to settings, uh, these are the three settings we spoke about and just saw them in action. So show max score. So max score is sort of uh, a confidence score of what we have uh, compared to the user's input and the qu query which we have in our database. Request feedback option is self-explanatory. You just get to see uh, the yes and no and did this answer help here. And uh, then basically the show closes question uh, which is here so we have added these because uh, initially you it's when it's not well trained so 
you wouldn't know what was the response typically like if the answer is something like a yes or no it's difficult to figure out whether the match was correct or uh, it was responding to something else so initially these are pretty helpful but as it as and when it gets trained enough for uh, public use you can just uh, probably turn these off and it will deflect right away so i'm still keeping the request feedback on because i still expect uh, people to respond if they found it helpful so i'll just ask it again yeah so you see uh, just the answer now and whether it was helpful since i had turned it kept it on so this is uh, at a very high level the faq feature and uh, you can always like uh, keep changing uh, the questions you have edit here uh, you can delete questions you can upload and download if you want to keep a copy of all the questions which are fed in uh, you can do that as well also we have search and uh, other features of adding categories etc so uh, next we will come to the path section so as i was mentioning earlier you can build more interactive workflows for the chatbot uh, using this feature so if you see we pre-create some paths so that the user can get started here so the first is the welcome new user which is uh, sort of the onboarding experience what you designed whenever a new user comes to use your chatbot and we have a great reading returning user so whenever a person has just come back to use it and says hi uh, or hello so uh, this particular path will get triggered as such and uh, it will display the greeting message so let's go into more details of what all you can do here so if you see i'll just focus on the welcome new user part or, or let's just go to the greet returning user so right now it has a very a uh, simple message uh, greeting message and it just says hi uh, first name welcome back so as i was saying you can have parameterized uh, values so you first name and last name all this we retrieve from the platform and you can use that to personalize the messages here so uh, you can change it as per your own convenience or actually uh, ditch the message for something which is more uh, let's say uh, graphical or interactive in nature so uh, we have what we call as nodes which are sort of the building blocks for creating a conversational experience so if you see right now we have eight such blocks and we are continuously working to add on uh, features here so that you can build uh, chatbots with richer experience so send message we just saw with just sends a simple message out uh, then we have send message with options so uh, you can just type in your message or uh, then you can have options around it like let's say i add yes or uh, are you in which let's say i ask a question which platform are you interested in and i add a option for messenger and i don't have a path for messenger but basically uh, when the user gets this option you can trigger another path from here so i'll go ahead and create that so i'll create a path named messenger here and let me just add some more so coming back to the flow uh, i'll just remove this welcome message and sorry uh, i'll add a send message with options here uh, so now you can add which platform are you interested in and let's say messenger and now i can link it to the messenger path which we just created and i can keep on adding more options and let's just add telegram for now which will trigger the telegram path which we just created and so once that is done we can keep 
building on the messenger uh, branch of the conversation or the telegram branch and that will sort of lead the user to a particular through throughout the conversation so along with send message with options uh, we have other options like send carousal uh, which is more or less like cards which can have images uh, with titles and you can have buttons also around them uh, and these buttons again can uh, link to various other parts or you can create another path and link it to it or it can direct to a website uh, which you in that case you just need to enter the URL for that and uh, you have the third type of button which is just a contact number so you feed in your telephone number and uh, so if you are using it on your mobile it when you interact with the chatbot and click on this button so it will just open the dialer with the number pre-programmed so that was send carousal uh, we have another interesting uh, block which we call as request user data so a lot of time uh, we might not get enough information about the user which may be relevant for us like let's say we want to know the user's email address to contact him uh, in future or some other details like uh, for order tracking we would need order id and things like that so uh, this request user data block is something which is uh, helpful for doing those kind of stuff so uh, we have uh, you can assign a variable name to it so uh, what that allows you to do is you can actually reuse the values in various uh, parts later by just uh, using this uh, addresses and it will list down as an option and along with that uh, we have this validation feature so we have different type of options here like we can request the user for their email mobile date and time numbers and let's say you are doing some feedback sort of stuff like uh, how much would you rate our product so it will uh, have a scoring of 1 to 10 or you can choose 1 to 5 and things like that so this is request user data so and we have other blocks like trigger a path uh, which will basically link to another path after uh, certain steps then you have send email uh, which will email you let's say after some particular point in the conversational flow and you can send more uh, interactive and engaging content to the users like send audio using the send audio and send video notes so I'll create a simple example here which uh, basically uh, whenever a user is requesting to talk to a human or a contact person so uh, we will ask for the query and their email addresses and it will send an email to us so that uh, we can monitor and get back to them as soon as possible right so let me just name it as contact support so uh, let's start with a simple send message block and say that okay uh, let's put the first name and say uh, sorry to know that you didn't want to talk to me and just save it so that will be the first message uh, then uh, we will ask the user for their query so let's just do that here and say uh, please share your query here and let's just assign a variable value to it so we don't need any validations here because it's just free flowing text so we just save this so now we have uh, this message and then we request for the query and next we will just ask them for their email address so that will be another request user data block and say uh, please help us with your email address and just do that let me add some validation around it since it's email so please enter a valid email address so 
this will keep checking the user's input and only if it satisfies the validation criteria will it let it go ahead in the flow so i have fed in this and then click on save now the last thing what you want to do is send an email to the support staff and who is monitoring the chatbot so that they can get to know that someone is actually requesting for human intervention uh, during the chatbot usage so you can add multiple email addresses here so i'll just feed in mine for now Request. and I can have a first name here and so I requested for the query and email address so let me put query first and followed by the email address and let me save that so this is the entire conversation experience around contacting a human what we have built here so now you must be wondering how will this get triggered so there are multiple ways of doing that so you can link it to uh, one of the buttons which you can create from the other flows like uh, like in the send message with options or send carousal so you can link this path from there also one thing i did not show you in the faq was uh, you can also link them to paths from here so let me just add i want to talk to a human and uh, talk to support and talk to a real person and things like that and in the response type i have changed it to path and then uh, we can set which paths to trigger and in this case i'll just go ahead and select contact support if we just uh, fleshed it uh, before this so i just add this now uh, let's go back and see uh, what the experience is on the chatbot so i just type uh, i want to talk to a human So right now it's processing it and it will trigger that particular path so uh, the first block gets triggered which was the simple text message and uh, uh, here I can enter my query that I want to know more about Ngati and next in sequence was we would request for the user's email address so that will start showing up here yeah there it is so now you enter i'll enter my email address uh, i could have added a thank you message that someone will get back and for now it will just send the email address so let's just see if we receive that yeah here it is so this is what we had fed in as the subject contact request from kingship and here is the query part and this is the email address which was entered by the user so everything how we had set up here in the contact support flow was executed one by one in a step by step manner it asked the user for all information and then basically uh, sent an email to the admin behind the scenes uh, now that we have seen uh, how we can build bots with more capabilities and enhanced uh, conversational flows, uh, let us focus more on the analytics and the engagement components what we have in our platform. So uh, I'll show them one by one. So this is the first, this is uh, the user's data of who all are interacting with the chatbot and it gathers all the data across platforms so even if you have the same bot linked to multiple channels you will see them see all the users listed out here and we also retrieve uh, some basic profile information uh, from these platforms about the chatbot users so i just interacted with the chatbot and let's see what details it has So uh, here you can see 
uh, some basic profile information and uh, then the most interesting part is you can track interactions over time and you can actually go back to see their uh, interaction history and what sort of conversations did they have with the chatbot and along with that uh, you have some more sections and metrics here like uh, most frequent messages and number of interactions per user and average session duration and things like that so another interesting thing here is uh, if you see this switch here uh, this is something we have for human takeover so if let's say the bot is not able to answer or uh, more human expertise is needed to respond to a user uh, so basically you just turn this off so that uh, the chatbot doesn't respond and uh, you are the only one conversing with the end user and uh, you can just uh, type your message from here that hey uh, and there to assist and answer all your queries just a sample example and you just send it from here and uh, you will just see uh, to the user will receive the message uh, from the same page so uh, they wouldn't be able to distinguish and uh, now basically the user can interact with the admin and the admin can respond from here and uh, this works not just for messenger it works for the website chatbot we have and so that's a very helpful feature we have on the platform uh, next is basically whatever uh, features we had for the user detail we sort of aggregate those across all users and if you can see here uh, since right now I'm the only one who has used it so it's just my data so you can see the most frequent messages and the messages sent versus messages received just to know the responsiveness and average messages per user and average actions per user so actions are basically button clicks so since we uh, hadn't put a lot of buttons uh, so that is shown as zero uh, along with that we have uh, a retention graph which is more or less a cohort analysis of how frequently people are coming back to using the bot and since again here I just used it and it's just today's data so uh, there is not much to see here right now but over time you get really rich insights of uh, of the patterns in which uh, the users come back and use the bot again uh, then we come to FAQ analytics which is uh, very interesting and important so here this is basically a running stream of all the queries which people have asked the chatbot and you just get it as a streaming list and you see the question which the user had asked uh, the closest match which the bot found uh, from its FAQ database and the answer which it responded and the score which I briefly uh, mentioned earlier that it's a sort of a confidence score of how close we consider the match to be from one of the queries in the FAQ and along with that uh, we have the feedback response so if you remember we had the yes no buttons after every question so if someone actually clicks on those uh, you get to see the data here and the best thing about uh, this screen is like uh, if let's say the bot wasn't able to answer any of these queries so you have this handy little train button here and uh, you can just uh, correct the answers so it lifts down the closest matches which it found and the top one is the one which was responded with so you can choose any of the existing matches or you can add a completely new response to this question so over time this gets really handy and you just keep monitoring and adding and all of the training happens real time so uh, you like don't waste any time to sort of uh, train the bot and uh, people who ask the same question again will get the correct response and finally we have some helpful widgets and tools which we can uh, use to sort of promote our chatbot 
these are specifically meant for messenger right now but we are adding support for more platforms uh, as and when we uh, get to them so here if you see uh, you get a link direct link to the chatbot so you can just type it on your browser or open it on your mobile phones and it directly opens up messenger and opens up the chat window for that particular bot uh, also you have a couple of buttons here of different styles so you have one send to messenger button and then you have a messages button so let's say i want to have a message us button on uh, my website so i can just select the style which goes with the theme of my website and you see here the code for that has been auto generated for you and you can just uh, copy paste it to your website code and uh, finally you have this uh, helpful messenger code so you can scan this sort of qr code from your messenger app and uh, this also launches the chatbot directly so all these widgets and uh, tools really help to promote your chatbot and uh, we are continuously improving on these aspects as well because uh, it's really important to sort of uh, let the world know that what you have created and uh, so that the chatbot adoption grows and you get more value out of it. So that was roughly a very high level uh, overview of the platform. Uh, there are more help videos which you can browse through from the platform and obviously like uh, if you have any queries you just can shoot an email to the support and we will get back to you with your queries answered. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks a lot for your patience and we'll keep bringing more videos to explain more functionality as and when we build those in the platform. So stay tuned for more updates.